Hi everybody! Somebody had asked me before to do a tour of my workshop and I felt kind of shy about it but I think uh, you know I kind of have the equipment and stuff to do that right now so maybe I thought now would be a good time. This is like a really small room. This is where everything is made though and uh, shipped and sent to their new homes. From this desk, this is where I actually uh, print and design keychains. Um, this is where I actually make like the print and the cut files. And then this is where I operate the machinery over here. I just have a printer and a die cutter. And the die cutter is just a Cricut, Cricut Explorer, nothing really fancy, it's just kind of a, like an Explorer Air, it's like one kind of old one. And then this is where I keep all like the stationery and everything, and uh, like, you know, packaging stuff. Up here, this is where I have mostly done, completely done, or just started keychains. Throughout all the processes, if I have to halt or stop the actual production, um, then I just store it here for later use. And then, uh, you know, some of these things can be completed later, at a later date. These little things up here are uh, badge reels. Um, this here is a black light because we have scorpions. We actually kind of have a scorpion problem in this house. So, yes, I operate everything in this basically a little bedroom. Uh, up here, this is a promotional sun and moon poster for pre-ordering. And I think it's really fancy and really nice, but as you can see, my bird actually broke in here and took a few bites, took a few chunks out of it. So that kind of sucks. Um, these are the Cricut mats. Those are just like what I, you know, put everything on and load it up. And... Alright. Uh, over here, this is my promotional Animal Crossing poster and uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. And um, this was like a, one of those Nintendo subscription ones. It was uh, one of those special uh, one of those special promotional posters that you could get off of there back in the day before they actually stopped letting you do that kind of thing. You could redeem your points basically for uh, real prizes. Your points you would get from uh, just buying games and things and redeeming them on the Nintendo, uh, I forget what it's called, Club, Club Nintendo. Over here, um, I have some art. This is from the amazingly talented Judith Rodriguez. She, uh, this is one of her art prints. I think it's really pretty. Over here, this one is, uh, like I actually got this from my mom who got it from a friend. And then right here, this is, uh, one of my really old, old drawings from high school that I did. Uh, this is colored pencil and a brush tip marker and that's uh, on a paper bag. This is like paper bag material. I just cut up like a lunch bag and just drew on it. Um, that is so old. This is also from Judith Rodriguez. It's very super cute. Uh, her and her hubby. And then over here. This is also from high school. This one, uh, I don't know if you can see that really well. Hold on. Better? I think that's a little better. Um, this, oh, my bird took a chunk out of that too. Jeez. Okay, this is from um, high school. This is Bristol board and um, I want to say Copic marker. That's when I did that. And then this one is also another paper bag dragon. This one, 
I named him Sawtooth because he's got kind of like a saw toothy face. And then this one is just a red Gyarados, also on brown paper bag. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is uh, the red Gyarados of the Lake of Rage. I was pretty inspired back then by Heart Gold and Soul Silver to make that. It was like a lot of fun, so I did that when I was on my little brown paper bag uh, kick. Up here, this is another one of those promotional posters. This is uh, all the NPCs, all of the NPCs of New Leaf. So that's everybody up there. It's pretty cool. I'm really hoping they all, every single one of them, returns in, uh, in New Horizons in some form or fashion. That would be great. That'd be really cool. So this over here is a little setup for like just drawing and stuff. So taking a seat right here, I just like pull up a chair and uh, this is my little drawing tablet. I don't have anything fancy. I just have this little guy right here. It's a Wacom tablet or Wacom, I guess. Uh, welcome tablet and it's just standard ordinary USB tablet. I draw from my laptop and then I use this TV as a secondary monitor because this laptop does not display colors correctly. Actually it's pretty off. I can't really see saturation or anything really. It's kind of difficult to see things on the screen. The screen is not very accurate. Over here is where, this is my primary desk where I actually do the resin steps and the paint steps. This is where I pretty much do all of those things. I have a printout of my keychain back color select. So when my customers choose their bat color, usually I go by number. And then I actually designed a spreadsheet specifically for um, helping me keep track of orders. This is like from the very, very last batch. So what I do is like I have a whole list on the side here on the left and uh, they're all color coded to kind of keep all of the series together. And, um, and so what I do is I just put a tally mark next to every instance someone buys a particular character keychain. And then uh, in the columns, there's like the different finishes. So you have plain gloss, fluid shatter, glitter, stars. And then in the rows, you have all the characters. And so I just put a tally mark where the uh, different orders belong. And then, um, and then if somebody selects a particular bat color, then I can just put like a number and then the number of the actual color. So this is the color guide for me so that I can pay attention to all of that when I do all the customizations. It's uh, not as complicated as it sounds. It's actually quite organized. Um, yeah, that just helps me keep track of things because uh, Etsy doesn't do all of that for me. I have to do it on my own. Up here um, is my old Pokemon collection. And this is actually a card from my friend, my childhood friend, Kirsty. She and I are still kind of in touch and, you know, I'm kind of sentimental about her, so. But this is my whole Pokemon collection. And uh, I have a random little stone dino up here. It's kind of dusty. This, this whole area is kind of dusty. Um, I don't know what else to really show you. Over here, these are my painting supplies. Um, this is just like my brushes and my 
things like that. And then uh, over here is a whole bunch of acrylic gesso. Like a whole bunch of it. And then I actually bought brand new palette knives because I've never used palette knives before. Um, but here's what I plan on doing. I actually plan on live streaming some painting. And what I want to do first is actually finish this guy here. I want to actually do this painting because I've been neglecting it for so, so long. But yeah, I think that'll be fun to do. And then these are just some, some little sketches and things like that here. It's just got some sketches there and uh, mm, a couple sketchbooks. You can see uh, Judy. I did a little Judy drawing. I don't know if you can see that very well. I guess I can hold that up. <laughs> Just an A board, you. Okay. Um, Octavian. And I've got all kinds of little sketches in my sketchbook. I don't know if I want to go through everything. This year I actually did kind of a while ago when I first got my Copic markers, but I haven't really done anything with it. It's just uh, a little Stantler and a little Deli Bird. It was kind of like a Christmas spirited kind of thing that I did. Let me see, let me see. We have, um, these are actually my little foodies drawings. This one's tangy. This one is uh, ketchup. This one is Zucker. Uh, this one is Frida. This one is Drago. And this one is Meringue. And these ones were all done in uh, just like brush tip marker, Copic, stuff like that. Brush tip pen. Just kind of doing some traditional art sort of stuff. And then these are, uh, <laughs> these are, and of course I have uh, chatter on the back here. I just kind of doodled these guys over here. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess. Got Isabel and Evie and Brewster and Tom Nook and Pikachu. Yeah. I haven't really done anything with that. This one was uh, meant to be for my fiance. Um, I was kind of working on turning that into something, but I kind of lost my uh, I kind of lost my vision on it, I guess, and started kind of second-guessing myself and losing, um, like, just feeling like it's probably not really worth finishing. I don't really know how to feel about it. But, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to work on enjoying painting for a little while and just work on my actual art. And... Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's a good thing to do, you know. Honestly, I'm just not really going to be focusing too much on uh, getting my shop back up and running and started and going because there's just too much going on with the postal service right now that everything's just a little bit too unreliable and I don't really feel comfortable reopening my shop just to have a bunch of postal problems. Like, I don't know when my supplies are actually gonna get here. Uh, so that makes it really difficult when everything that I do essentially is made to order. Um, you know, I, I can't put estimates on things if I don't know when I'm gonna have the materials to make them. And the Postal Service has been very spotty about actually picking up orders. Uh, they've been sitting in the drop box for days at a time sometimes before they actually get picked up. And it's been really, really difficult for me to, uh, like, be sure that they can make it to their destination. Sometimes things get sent back. Sometimes um, things just get stuck or lost in transit and I have to deal with that. Um, as the seller, uh, so 
it's just, it's been really difficult and most of my customers in the past several months have been, uh, they've had their shipping refunded and everything so I've been taking care of the shipping which I already lowball. I take care of some of the shipping costs. I charge a $2.99 flat for uh, orders $35 and under uh, domestic shipping and usually the cost actually comes out to be like anywhere between three and four dollars but I just take care of that little extra there because I want to. I really love actually shipping out my stuff. So, it's, yeah. But, you know, it'll be good. It'll be good to just chill out and... Oh, gosh. I never showed you guys. These are my lanyards. Alright. Okay, these are Gyarados lanyards. And, uh, I have a whole bunch of them, so I don't, I can't really sell them. They're not really that popular. They're very not popular. And then, uh, these here are Animal Crossing lanyards. They're brand new, and I haven't sold a single one of them. So 50, 50 prints of these guys. And then, uh, I have some of these Gyarados lanyards. Yep, and uh, I also have a few of these uh, mini Monster Hunter lanyards. If you can see that, I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah. Cool. So I think that's gonna be it then. I think uh, that kind of wraps that up. Thank you for watching my little tour of the studio where I make the things and ship the things. Uh, I do appreciate it. And I look forward to live streaming my paintings and seeing how that goes. I'm sure I'll have a whole bunch of technical issues. Of course, that's just kind of the way things go sometimes. Well, that's something I'm gonna have to fix. Okay. Bye, everybody.